Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our second member podcast. We have a full cast today. We have a member co-host and, again, another member behind the scenes working our audio and camera equipment. We are joined by our co-host, our returning member, Caden. So, Caden, I'm going to go ahead and hand it off to you. Go ahead and take it away. Hi, I'm uh, Caden, and I'm a member here, and um, other people have to introduce you and introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Liam, and I am also a member here, and I'll hand it off to um, another person. Hi, I'm Radley, and I'm a member here. I will hand it off to the last person. Hi, my name is Declan, and I'm also a member here. And I am James. I I was a member here, but I'm now a staff here, and I'm very proud of all of you for doing this, because I know it's not easy to get in front of a camera, in front of a microphone, and kind of talk about your opinions, okay? But like we have talked about, that this is a platform for you, to for us that we're providing, for you to really lift your voices, okay? So Caden's prepared some questions for us and for you, and I will kind of sit back and moderate where I need to and kind of jump in and chime in, okay? So other than that, I'm going to go ahead and hand it off to Caden. Caden, take it away. Okay. Um, so I know I really don't like the school food, but I just wanted your guys' opinions on it, so... Do you think do you guys think it's good or bad? Um, I, I, I would say good. only on like certain occasions oh it's God. good, but regularly it's pretty bad. I'd have to agree with Radley. Like mm. it's it's not that good. It's like uh, it's like okay. medium cooked dough with <laughs> like a slice of cheese on it. Uh, I get um, ordinary pizza and chicken nuggets. It, it's pretty good. Okay, um, so also um, about like the break or recess or whatever, um, do you guys like it or what goes on? There's oh. some issues that need to be solved. Like there's some fights that go down there and they only have one staff to like handle it. Yeah, I would agree with that. Like uh, every now and then we'll, we'll like the school will be playing football and then somebody will get mad and they'll, it'll just turn into a fight. Mm-hmm. What about you, Declan? Uh, there is plenty of fights at, um, there. Once there was a big fight, and eventually somebody got knocked out in the middle of the class. And oh, no. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, um, so, speaking of fighting, have, like, what do you, what's your opinion on it? Like, um, how, it, are the staffs handling it well? I would say they're handling it well, but a lot of times they don't see it because, like, they're dealing with, like, other stuff. I think they're handling it well. I just think they need more people because, like, there might, there could be multiple going on. It's happened before, and they only have one staff down there. Yeah, and then also one of the main reasons there's a lot of fights is because uh, the... Classmates think that they could pr- get away with stuff because there's less staff members there. So I feel like there'd be better if there's more staff there. Something I want to interject with really here quickly is with the fights that happen at school, and of course I've you know been t- been to your all to the middle mm-hmm. school and to the elementary schools here and the high school, and I've seen my fair share of fights as well. And something that always kind of concerned me was safety of myself and my classmates. Do you feel safe when you're at your schools when you see these fights happen? Do you feel pretty confident that staff are going to keep not just people involved safe, but that are not involved safe from future fights? See, it depends on the day because the more fights I see in a day, the, the less safe I feel because there could be someone like that didn't agree with me and they could be mad at me and then... That could evolve into something bigger. Yeah, like in football, like certain people want to be a certain position, and then I like see fights a while, like every now and then. But I do. still, I feel like they would need more staff, and that would make me feel safer. I do not feel safe at the school okay. because there is so less staff, and there's only guard duty to stop a fight. I um. I agree with Radley. We definitely need more staff at certain places, like at the yard and maybe even in, like, the hallways. Okay. 
I I feel pretty safe. Like if I'm not involved, I don't think anybody will get mad. So, what about the outdoor patio? Because I remember over at the middle school, we were able to start eating in the outdoor patio. But is it still? Can you oh, all still eat out uh, there? It is in very bad condition. Like yeah. people, there are trash. Like like if you're walking in a straight path, you will guarantee step on trash. Whoa. Yeah. Like people like to pop their milk jugs like when they're empty. To make like a loud crashing noise. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they just leave it there. They don't pick it up. And like, there's like a there's like a bunch of food on the ground. So like, you kind of have to wash where you step when you're walking down to like the courts or the field. Has anyone slipped or gotten hurt by uh, any of that? I personally, I have once, but I don't know about anybody else. I think I, one I of my stepped on it. I, I stepped on it, and it left like a weird milk stain on my shoe. But mm. I got it out. It's gross. Yeah. <laughs> no one likes moldy milk. <laughs> yeah, what about you, Declan? Uh, it's pretty good, and we're having construction from all third grade on the school. Ooh. Mm. Nice. All right. Yeah, we haven't had construction in a while. Yeah, that school hasn't had construction in a while. But um, there are other campuses that have luckily have popped up, so upgrades might be coming that way. Hopefully. We'll see. Yep. Wait, back to the food. Sure. Um, do you guys have any, like, opinion on the food? Like, which one's good and which one's bad? I like the, um, spaghetti Ooh. with, um, the cheese bread. Same. I, I also like the, uh, Korean food, like, where they make yeah. the box. I like, I like the bacon they have at breakfast and the little country potatoes, but that's... Yeah, I, I like I that, like. too. Breakfast, Eklund, like... Do you have a favorite food at your elementary school? Not really. I just get random stuff every day, normally. Okay. All right. So, um, what's your guys' like favorite classes? You like PE, English, um, or history? I personally like PE a lot because my PE teacher is very nice. Yeah. Um, my PE is like not bad. Like, the teacher can be like harsh sometimes, but once you really like do what you're supposed to, it's pretty fun. But my, I'm going to have to say that history is my favorite. I would say history is probably my second because history is pretty, it keeps me, like, uh, entertained. Yeah. Um, my favorite is probably, it's probably PE because I just get to, like, play <laughs> random stuff and do that. Like, and I like doing that stuff. Declan, what's your favorite subject? My favorite subject is probably uh, PE. Cool. Um. So back for the classes. Uh, is there any like things that you think the teachers could do better? Cause I I know me, my math teacher could probably yeah. give less homework. <laughs> we could all do with less homework. Yeah, Trust me, yeah. in college we could do with less homework. <laughs> yeah, I'm the, I'm the same teacher as Radley, and she's pretty rude sometimes. My English teacher. Um. She could probably, like, make the quizzes a little less difficult. Like, they're pretty hard. Um, I would also say my uh, history teacher is very loud. Mm-hmm. He's very outspoken, but that's a characteristic that some may like and some may not. Mm-hmm. Personally, I don't like that characteristic. Um, uh, uh, one time in my science class, we were doing stuff with microscopes. And we had, like, a sw- swamp water, so we just dripped it, and then um, it got, somebody had, like, a stain, because we put stains on it, and then somebody got the stain all over their clothes, and it was bad. Well, at our, at our school, somebody got good karma in P.E., because he was mocking the other one for not catching him, and then he tripped, fell, and then the other... But then he still didn't get caught, and then he tripped and fell again, and he got caught. Because yeah. he was mocking the other person. So he got some pretty good karma. Yeah, that would hurt. So, uh, do you guys have, like, a favorite thing to do at break or, like, at home or anything? Um, do you mean break as in recess? Yeah. I would, for, like, break, I would either like to talk with my friends or to play football. Yeah. But uh, at home, I really like playing with my friends online because I can't really play with them in real life anymore. 
Jack, uh, what about you? What are some things you like doing during recess? Or... I just like playing football or baseball or something. What about, what about some things at home? What do you do at home for fun? Uh, play games. Okay. Um, what I like to do at school is, like, I go to the library with my friend. Because my other two friends, they, like, play on the computer. So we both have magic decks, and we kind of just play short round, and whoever has the most creatures on the board at the end wins. But at home, I kind of just, like, play Brawl Stars on my phone (laughs) and watch videos. Yeah, of course you do. (laughs) I've seen it every time I've went in your room. You would be playing Brawl Stars while watching YouTube. (laughs) My favorite thing to do is, like, play basketball or football. But that's basically it. All righty. So, does anyone have anything else to um, talk about or say? I would say I have another question about the, um, does anybody have any opinion on, like, the walking between c- classes? Oh, yeah. I, I don't like how my math teacher, like, if we really have to go to the bathroom, she's like, you're late, you're late. I like that. <laughs> it's just annoying. Um, I also, when I'm switching from fourth period to fifth period, a lot of the kids that are coming back from lunch, they... Basically, like to push you because they're like, I don't know, I don't know why, but that happens a lot. And then also, from classes, I have a class from uh, English to history, mm-hmm. and mostly I stop by the bathroom on the way there. And then I'm always like late, but my history teacher is really nice and lets it slide. Yeah. Does so. Going back to the food, does anyone have any like? Problems with, like, the cheeseburgers and chicken patties, like, every day? Oh, um, I had a cheeseburger once, and, uh, the burger, I opened it up, and it was raw. Oh. Like, like, it was, like, pink raw. It was, like, it's, it's like, if if you just burnt it with, like, a charcoal flame. Yeah. And then also with the pizza, I got a piece of pizza, and I took a bite into it, and right as I took a bite, the cheese slid off, the dough was, like, dripping out. Oh. The sauce was all in the top. There was no sauce at the bottom, and it was terrible. Yeah, with the cheeseburgers, I had, like, it was, like, little things hanging off the side of the cheeseburgers, and it kind of, like, just lost my appetite. And the tater tots are, like, dry, very dry. Oh, yeah. Um, I also, for one of my favorites, it has to be, like, the new item on the menu where it's, like, a cup, and then it has, like, frozen tangerines and oranges in it. Mm. Yes. Oh, I want to try that. I haven't tried that yet. I was the same with him. The hamburgers are sometimes just raw. Well, is that everyone? Is that everything everyone's got for today? Um. Well, kind I feel like of, I can think of one more thing. Sure. sure. The fried. We got, or, we got time for one more. Basically, it's a detention. It's oh, very. School? Yeah, it's called Friday School at our school. Oh. Um, Describe it to our listeners who don't know what Friday school is. So be. it's basically where you, like you can't get it on Friday, but any day from Monday to Thursday, if you do, if you don't wear your mask or if you have your phone out or if you're chewing gum, or if you have your hoodie on, mm-hmm. you have 15 minutes of detention. Every time you get caught doing one of those four, you get sent to. Oh, uh, also you're not allowed to say profane language. Gotcha. Yeah, and if sometimes you get it for hire and sometimes you don't. It matters how much times you get in one week. Got it. Yeah. First so time, first Friday time, school is kind of the culmination of all the detentions you would yeah, be Yeah, first time would week. be 15, and then it would, since you got first 15 the first time, it would go to 30, so you'd have 45. Got it. Yeah. So what's this tension you, you were describing? Um, basically, you go to a classroom on Friday, and you the thing I don't like is you have to wait 15 minutes before you're able to go inside the classroom. Really? So like you basically have double the time. Got it. If you only have 15 minutes. Um, I'd like to say, well, um, Radley's, like, what he was saying was you can you can technically get Friday school on a Friday, but it's not that Friday. It would be the next Friday. It would be the next Friday. Got it. But with the detentions, the thing is you literally wait in a room. It's not, like, as severe as, like, when my dad went to the school. It was Saturday school. Mm-hmm. Like, it wasn't. But at, with Friday school, it's you only hang out for, like, in the Friday school for like 15 minutes and kids just keep getting it over and over again because it resets every time um, you you do the time. 
So it kind of like defeats the purpose because they know it's going to reset and, it's, and it could not be as severe as last time. Gotcha. Okay. I had it so once. So with uh, that, oh, I'm sorry. Go, I'm sorry. Go ahead, you two. So, yeah. Um, if you didn't know, um, of course, Friday you have no homework. But if you don't complete your homework, you don't get Fun Friday. And if you don't know what Fun Friday is, if you complete your homework, you get to have, you can mess with Play-Doh, blocks, you can play games on the computer, all right. and all that. But if you don't finish your homework, you have to do it in the middle of class and miss Fun Friday. Gotcha. For us, we have And my homework, friends though. keep having that happen to them because they refuse to do their homework. That's yeah, right. for the middle school, we don't have enough Fun Friday. And yeah. we definitely have homework on Fridays. Yeah, two different environments that do completely different things. The thing I like about middle school, though, is, well, at least at our school, they don't assign us homework. They just they assign us, like, mi- stuff that we didn't finish in class or late or missing Yeah, work it's like classwork that you have to finish at home. Like, you do half in class and half at home. Yeah. It's, it's pretty nice because if it's rewarding that you get your work done during class. Because, like, at the elementary school, like, um, you were assigned homework, like... Like, I would have, like, three pages of homework You would have every single what day. you had to do in class and homework. So, the all benefit right. of middle school is that if you get it done in class, you're all good. Yep. All right, and with that, we are going to go ahead and wrap up our second episode Thank you all for joining us for this episode. Uh, we had a blast doing it. Um, what do you guys think? Did you all like it? Uh, yeah, yes. I, I think uh, it will yeah. definitely be returning. Cool. Yes. So we, yeah. were, we were brainstorming some things. You know, I might be playing some card games yep. and some other things while we're doing the podcast yeah. and starting our own uh, member fun stuff. So we are going to be coming up with some more content. Thank you all for joining us. Make sure you tune us tune in every Next Friday. Time. Next time, I'm only go, coming here back so I can get some laughs and come here again, of course. There we go. So make sure you tune in every Friday at 10 a.m. for our post for our podcast to be post live every Friday at 10 a.m. on anchor.fm slash bgccc and on our YouTube channel, Boys and Girls Clubs of Contra Costa. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for listening. And we will see you all next time. Bye. Bye. Goodbye, everyone.